It is Saturday, March 4th. Recall Gavin. But you know what? These people. What's going on? What is going on? The entire nation is going to be revived, restored, and we will. Saturday, March 4th, or no, March 6th, and Morgan and I are in San Francisco, we're at Fisherman's Wharf. Blogging? Not blogging, but there's supposed to be a whole bunch of things happening today. Uh, recall Gavin Newsom over here, and Supposedly Joy Villa is going to be at the Capitol, so uh, hopefully I can make it over for that. Stay tuned. To do the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you. Thanks, Rob. All right, guys, right hand over your heart. Real quick, we're gonna do the Pledge of Allegiance because of course that's the thing that we do. Ready? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Give her a round of applause. That means she finished kindergarten through first grade. Great job, Brittany. We are absolutely pleased. Ladies and gentlemen, now since we have spoken to the Lord and we've been able to give our country the representation that it needs, right now we're going to start. Pastor Jay, thank you very much, sir. That was absolutely fantastic. Brittany, that was great. We're here to have a monumental moment for everyone who's here in the city. First, we want to say thank you to all the great people that are in the city. We want to give Nancy Pelosi a round of a don't clap. No, the most funny part about it is I don't, I've never met the lady and you know, people tell me I'm a very funny guy. So I'm just going to say something very funny. The location of this whole entire rally was not supposed to be here on a sidewalk. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, I was not supposed to stand on a riser. There was an inch big. We were going to stand right here on the stairs, but unfortunately Nancy Pelosi made a phone call and we were pushed off the stairs to the side. Okay. You can boo. I'm not going to boo. I'm upset because the stairs are really nice. They're really nice police officers right behind. First, let's give San Francisco PD a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. We don't, we don't defund. And we will also give the sheriff department here in San Francisco a round of applause. Give the sheriff a round of applause. We support the blue. We back the blue fully. So I want to be able... 
Is that a real bird? Oh yeah. <laughs> wow. Live. My man. Okay, so we're gonna get started here today, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna make sure that the program runs smoothly. My name is Robert Foster, and I will make sure today that you have a great time. You're able to meet your neighbor. First, we have a saying here with Recall Newsom. We say hello to everybody. Say hello. And we also are, this is our insignia and the thing that we have cloned as the most important thing. You also say hello to somebody, but you also say goodbye to people, don't you? So every time I step up on stage, on the count of three, you'll say, one, two, three, and you say, goodbye, Newsom. So we're cordial individuals. We're not gonna kick him out of the door. We're politely gonna escort him outside the office. 1.9 million signatures later, we have an opportunity to remove an individual that his aunts wanted to make sure that he was in the seat. So on the count of three, we're gonna say, goodbye, Newsom, and you put your hand in the air like this. Put your hand in the air, and you say on three, goodbye, Newsom. One, two, three, goodbye, Newsom. Excellent. We have crowd participation. Make sure you say hello to a friend. Coming to stage for our first individual guest. He stands four foot two. Approximately his hair is longer than his height. He has an age that is half of my daughter's. But the ability for him to be able to speak and articulate what he's going to say has been absolutely amazing. Please, for me and all the tall people of the world, give a round of applause to Mr. Lucky coming to stage. Come on up here, Lucky. Lucky. Can they see you or do you want to get on my shoulders? Can everyone see Lucky? Do you want to stand up over here? All right, buddy, there you go, here you go. Have a good time, okay, be safe. First of all, ouch. I just gotta say that, all right. What is up, San Francisco? Hey. Now, I drove all the way here from a little known place called Santa Monica, and shoot, I was tired afterwards. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. But I came here not for myself, but because we need to stand up. The time is now. We need to fight. The people are suffering. And you know, me personally, I have been tremendously, tremendously, I have had terrible experiences with this pandemic. Um, you know, I have not been in school for over a year and everyone, a lot of my friends, uh, children too, we are not learning, we're not doing anything. We're sitting there wasting our time, wasting space, and it's not acceptable. We need to go back to school, and we need to stand up, and we need to fight for our, cat, for our state. Yes. It is unacceptable what they are doing to us. We are the, f the future of this state is being destroyed because our businesses are closing, our children are, are failing. And you know why? Because that tyrannical king, who might or may not be a vampire, it's not confirmed right. yet, he is sucking up all of our lifeblood, all of our money, he is destroying this state, and it needs to end now. Yeah. I have felt like a human living a robotic life for the past year, and it is over. It is over, it ends today! This is not a red and blue and pink and that issue. This is not a racial issue, this is not any issue, it's not a party issue, it is a red, white, and blue issue! Let's make California the example for any governor who dares to try to become a king, who takes emergency powers like a certain governor in a certain other state, I'm not gonna name him, Cuomo, anyways. It just needs to end because no matter how long we sit down and wait, la 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 la, like I did for so long, I sat here for a year, believed the myths. Oh, blah blah blah, this that this that. I watched the news on press conferences. I believed what he had to say, but I will not take that anymore, and neither should you. Praise the Lord. Speaking up. We need to bring down this tyranny. It needs to end, okay? We cannot take this. The people of California, the pe the children of California, we cannot take this any longer! That's right. That's right. It is despicable.
despicable. We might as well be calling ourselves peasants at this point because we are suffering. You guys are suffering. So Gavin Newsom, let me tell you this. These are your people, your people right here. This is your hometown. They are suffering. So let it be known. Your people don't like you and I sure as heck don't either. That's not the best we can do. Please give Lucky a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. That's right. Lucky, do us a favor, please, because other people have children your age. His bird is the same height as you. Can you please tell us where we can find you on Instagram or Facebook? Take your time and let the people know. Do you have Facebook? No, I don't have how old are you? 12 years old. Give a 12 year old a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. What do you have, Instagram? Okay, here, give them your Instagram handle. My Instagram handle is I love soldiers 123 I'm posting daily content. Exp I told you to say it slow, like your age, slowly. I love soldiers 123 I'm posting daily stuff on why uh, we have to recall Newsom, and I'm exposing his fraud and his lies. Yeah. Unbelievable. Give Lucky Ron applause. Lucky, you know I love you, man. You're amazing. I want daughters. I, you, when you get older, you might be able to marry one of my daughters. Just one, not two, okay? Just one, Lucky. Don't think about it. Please, please give Lucky a round of applause. Thank you very much. I want to acknowledge other individuals who are here also. There's a gentleman who's standing in the back with a golden retriever that has really been monumental in pushing for this recall effort. Ori, come on up, buddy. You know, you're in the program, but I wanted to make sure, if you see the tent where it says, recall Gavin Newsom, this is the gentleman who helped us start it. Mike Netter, where are you, sir? Where are you, Mr. Netter? There he is, come on up here, buddy. Please, please ladies and gentlemen, give them both a round of applause. 1776 Forever Free. Dr. Cordy, come on up here on stage, please. Magical, magical individuals right here. Magical individuals. Joe Collins, come up on stage, please. Are you doing an interview now? He's doing an interview? He's doing an interview right now. Okay, we'll talk to Joe in a minute. These gentlemen, I'll call him up on stage in a second. But we want to make sure that you know who are the individuals that made it possible for us all to be here today. It is not about a party preference. It is about an individual who has a certain thought process that has caused for our state to suffer. They could not stay in their homes. People have closed businesses all throughout our state. These gentlemen and Joe Collins and the whole 1776 Forever Free Team, Team Collins, and everybody that is here supporting, everyone who's here, Amen. we've all made an effort to make sure that this gentleman is not going to stay in office at this time. So please give them a round of applause. Please. We're going to continue the program. We have, a, we have a lady coming to stage right now. Dr. Cordy, you can go before all the ladies fall in love with you. Amen. Mike, get out of here. The women fall in love with you, too. I have competition. We have a lady that is so amazing. You've probably seen her story on Channel 7, Channel 4, Channel 6, Channel 5, Spectrum News in Los Angeles. She's been on Fox Television. She's been on every major network throughout the country. She made a stance, and you'll hear her story. Angela, where are you, beautiful? There she is. You've heard the story of Angela, and you've probably seen on the news. I do not want to take a second from any of this that she will say to you. Please, give a hand and say hello to Angela right now. But before you do that, Angela, do me a favor. I'll say goodbye. <laughs> hey, San Francisco, how are you? Um, you may know my face. Uh, I was a, re a reluctant person to get involved in politics. I'm a small business owner. Um, I've owned my pub in Sherman Oaks for 10 years. And when you're a small business owner, you don't do it to become a millionaire. You do it because you love it and because you love the community. And um, I want you guys all to know that right now we are severely under assault. And um, I didn't know that. I, I was like everybody, as soon as, as soon as everything went down, I wanted to do whatever I could to keep everybody safe, whatever they asked from me. And it just was one thing after another and another and another. And it got to a point where 
literally between boarding up from riots, being told I had to do to go, um, getting to go inside for three weeks and spending thousands upon thousands of dollars for fans and plexiglass and windows, only to be told then I had to go outdoors. And I don't know if a lot of people, you know this, but a lot of bars don't have food and they don't have room for patios. Those bars have been shut down since June of last year. I, I at that point, was going to close. I had no more funds left. I had taken out a loan just to get through the year. I was losing 20 to 30,000 a month because I'm a brick and mortar place. Um, and building the patio out and getting that was probably the toughest month of my life. I spent anywhere from 60 to $80,000 of loan money while taking a loss. And um, we opened up and again, I was getting furniture off Facebook. I was buying furniture from businesses that were going out of businesses. I was trying to keep my head down and, and it was killing me to see my fellow small businesses go under, but I was just like, survive, survive, Angela, just survive, just get through this. And I regret that now. I regret that with everything I have. I had apathy. I had apathy and I had this just keep your head down and survive while I was watching my fellow business owners go under and buying furniture from their places so I could try to survive. And so then I do it in short notice and I open up and we open up into a heat wave with face shields and gloves and I mean, I had a woman have a heat stroke on my patio. I had the public health department out three times a week harassing me, but we made it. And by October, we saw a profit. And then Governor Gavin Newsom, two days, two days before Thanksgiving, shuts us down again. Before the holidays, I had to tell my staff, I told my bookkeeper, can we just stay open for to-go so I can give some of them? Some of them work. And he said, Angela, we're not going to make it past January. So I had to tell my, my staff, listen, you got to come in next week. I have to furlough you, but I'm trying to be positive. Don't worry. I'll figure a way out. I'll figure a way out. We'll open. Don't stress. Right before the holidays, I'm giving them last paychecks and bags of groceries. I have a single parents that work for me. I have people that had lost other jobs. They were on their third job that I had just trained. And... I thought it was done. I thought it was over. And I, I, on Black Friday, I was really depressed. I'm walking around the mall. Nobody's wearing a face shield. Nobody's wearing gloves. Everybody's trying on clothes and they're open. But all the small businesses are closed. And I just, I told my mom back in Indiana, I've been in LA 28 years, mom, and everybody is bailing on California and I can't do it anymore. I have to tell the truth. The truth has to be told. Yes. That is what we need. We need people in office that care about us that tell the truth. Let's stand in this package. The facts of the matter is, is that science is what they promised they would go by, right? And we trusted them. And they lied. It is a it is a one percent chance inside a controlled environment like a bar or a restaurant of getting COVID compared to 74% chance in a house party or a house gathering. So they shut us down and the numbers go through the roof. Meanwhile, small businesses are dying. We are dying. We literally in LA County, have the, we have lost the most small businesses in the country. We've lost 60% of our small businesses. And guess who's number three? San Francisco. We have two of the top three cities in the United States who are, have lost the most small businesses and we have one governor over both those cities. Enough is enough. When I walked into to give last paychecks to my staff who were bawling and did not, most of them weren't even getting unemployment, I walked into a movie company, a 200 person tent 15 feet away from my tent with a catering truck. I remember that. They got a permit to act right doing the same thing in my parking lot. And that is when I lost it. I put my head down and, and, and Ben, who was with his son, said, Ange, did you see that? I said, yeah. And he could see it in my face. He said, it's going to be okay. I said, no, it is not okay. It is not okay anymore. And I cannot have apathy. I have to get involved and I've got to do something. This is our state. This state belongs to us. Amen. And our politicians, they need to know they work for the people. They work for us. While he is eating dinner at French Laundry, taking money from a lobbyist to put a tent in my parking lot, and shutting me down, if he thinks I'm going to go down quietly, he's sadly mistaken.
mistaken. This will not stand. And we are California, and the, the country is looking at us. They are looking at us in New York. They are looking at us in Michigan, and they're saying, if they can do it, we can do it too. And these people from the recall, they've been doing it since I even got on board, because I wasn't political. I didn't want to get involved. I loved everybody. I, I, I'm registered as an independent. I wanted to stay neutral. But you know what? These people, these people have had my back. These people are trying to save the state. And we need to talk to everybody and get everybody's signature. No more apathy. Let's take our state back. And thank you, San Francisco. Thank you so much for coming out.